Hey guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Anime here, bringing you my review for One Piece episode 824. And I'm not gonna lie, this episode, it was definitely above average. Like, it was definitely up there. It was probably what, it was one of the better episodes that, 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 that so far, that, that, that in terms of the One Piece anime, that toy animation is, has put out. I mean, there were, there were a few scenes for sh I mean, don't get me wrong, like, it, there were a few scenes that, 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 that were... There were a few scenes that were eh, iffy, but other than that, like the art and animation of this episode was, for the most part, on point. Uh, so to start off, the beginning of the episode, I'm not gonna lie, it was hard to watch because it wasn't bad. Like I said, the art and animation was very good in this episode, but uh, us, but what, what what basically made made the beginning of this episode hard to watch was was just seeing Luffy get the shit kicked out of him by Counter. Like, honestly, seeing seeing Counter deliver punch after punch to Luffy looked like it really fucking hurt. <laughs> and with with every punch, um, like, no lie, with every punch that, that, with every punch of seeing Counter punch Luffy, it actually hurt, like, what, like, it actually felt, I almost felt like I felt the exact same pain, like, I, I was tensing up at seeing, I was actually tensing up at seeing Luffy, at seeing Luffy get, get the, get constantly beat up and, and, and thrown down and whatnot, like, yeah, that was, it was, it was painful to watch, and, and pretty much every, and, and, and it wasn't just in the beginning, it was just every, uh, every other scene after that, 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 that had to do with seeing, with seeing Luffy get, get pretty much his, with seeing Luffy get, get his ass beat down by counter, it was just like, every scene in this episode of Luffy getting his ass beat down by counter was just, ooh, it was, it was hard to watch, and it was hard and painful to watch, uh, now, when we switch it over to Sanji running in order to reunite with Luffy, we'll see Bobbin following him. And right behind Bobbin, af af of course, after the reveal of him getting shot, was another person, Captain Shadow, holding a gun, uh, who inevitably ended up shooting Bobbin. But the question is, who is it? Because it was clearly not Pudding, it was, looked like a man. Um, if I had to guess... Based on how things were playing were playing out and and being set up in this episode, especially with, especially with um, uh, 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 pretty much especially with um, pretty much especially with with, with the way that Jimmy was mentioning Peckhams in this episode and what and we get the flashes of seeing of seeing, seeing Capone shoot Peckhams, I would say that the person who shot I would say the person who shot um, who, who ended up shooting Bobbin was was more like was more than like it was one of Capone's people and Capone himself was. It's probably there too. So now the question remains: What is Capone planning? Because if I had to, if I had to guess, this is pretty much ex this is this is gonna be this is probably this is more than likely set up for this is more than likely set up in, in order for Luffy to team up with in order for Luffy to team up with Capone in order to in order to take down Big Mom. Because I like honestly, Capone he is at the end of the day he's a pirate and he's a pirate and like every other pirate they pretty much see every other pirate in in the in the in the worst generation, they pretty much see they they, they only they only they, they they end up forming alliance. They have all formed alliances in order to take down one of the emperors. And Capone is more than Capone more than likely sees sees pretty much Big Mom as his target. So since Luffy and his crew are there, they're probably gonna form an alliance. So yeah, that's it would be cool. It would definitely be interesting to see that. Um, now. Right off the bat, if I did have a problem with this episode, and it's a minor one, don't worry, is that I could have done without the extended bits of Sanji freaking with Luffy at the end of the episode. I mean, in a way, it did show it did show the desperation, desperation, and des Sanji's desperation, and the reunion of Sanji seeing Luffy's battered and starved body was 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 was, 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 was handled extremely well, but was handled extremely well on an emotional level. But I feel Toei didn't need to extend it as much as they did. Like I, I think they could have. I don't know. Like I, I, I suppose. I suppose when you look at it, it does, it does make sense when, in context of the cliffhanger. But it's like, yeah. Did, did you really need to extend it that much? I, I don't know. It's it's weird. It, uh, yeah, I got some weird thoughts on that one, but yeah, o overall, I, th I thought the scene itself of, of, of just the reunion of Luffy and Sanji was extremely well handled, to be honest with you, and like I said, the art and animation, the, and just the artwork on seeing Luffy just, on seeing Luffy's battered and starved corpse was, seeing Luffy's battered and starved body was just a, 
was just insane. Well, like I said, again, it's one of those things where it's it's not it's never going to be as detailed as in the manga, but I think for what the anime did, it, it, it was pretty damn heart-wrenching. Um, now, okay, now to the juicy bit of the episode. If there's one thing I think we can all agree on in this episode, and that what this episode proved is that Brooke is best straw hat. Like, I mean, the bony motherfucker managed to face down Big Mom, her guards, a sweet command, a sweet commander, I mean, I think he may have, I, I guess he didn't really fight Smoothie, but he, he managed to survive Smoothie. Uh, but he managed to fight, these, he managed to fight against these three, against these three big major elements. And he's, and even after getting captured by Big Mom, he still managed to get a hold of and hide within his own skull rubbings of the road from the cliff even before all that shit went down. Like, seriously, that was so smooth that I'm sure even James Bond would question how he would even question how how the fuck Brooke managed to even manage to achieve all that shit. Like, even and just the reactions. And just and j just the smooth way in in in, in, in which and honestly j just just pretty much the smooth just pretty much the smooth way in, in which that whole scene playing out of 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 the straw hats and and Pedro and all of them for, for pretty much learning what what Brooke did like that was just their their eye bulges like just their surprise was just freaking hilarious and yeah Brooke like yeah. Brooke, how you are so smooth. Even I think even James Bond would question how how you managed to pull all that shit off. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, yeah Brooke. Like he just proved, he just proved he was he was James Bond basically in this episode. And and what's more important about this scene basically is with with these rubbings being in the Strat's possession now that 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 pretty much moves forward in. That moves forward pretty much in the completion of of, of one of the two goals that, for, in order for the Strats being here, which is they managed to gain, which is they managed to gain, I guess, a, like a blueprint, of, a blueprint of Big Mom's rogue poneglyph, and and now from here the only thing left is is getting is is getting Sanji to come back. Um, but the, the one thing I really wonder about this whole rogue poneglyph thing with with the rubbings and whatnot, believe it or not, is. I'm curious how Luffy will react to the fact that his crew only got the blueprints of the Rogue Poneglyph. Because I remember back in Zo, he made a big stink about uh, he made a big stink about the uh, 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 he made a big stink about uh, pretty much uh, uh, about the whole concept of, of getting blueprints to begin with, and just wanted to get the whole Poneglyph itself. So yeah, I, re I really wonder how, how Luffy's gonna react to, react when he finds when he finds that they didn't get the Poneglyph that they just managed to get the get the rubbings of it. Um, if I had to guess, I would say it's one of those things that's probably going to be played up for laughs in which Luffy will, will basically be angry at only getting getting the sloppy second, so to speak, and and then want to go back to steal the actual Poneglyph, followed by him probably getting brutally and hilariously getting getting the crap get out of him by Nami and probably every single one of his crew. So, yeah, I imagine, I imagine Luffy's reaction to the whole... In terms of the through the whole getting the poneglyph blueprints thing is gonna be a little played up for comedy. I imagine. I mean, I mean it's Oda. He, I mean, yeah. Um, so I'm not gonna lie. When the episode switched over to the Vin Smokes getting drunk, I had very mixed feelings about how how the scene played out. On one hand. I was laughing my ass off when 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 the Vince Smokes were just sitting there and bragging and 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 bragging what in a very drunken mood, drunken mood about what about what they could accomplish with pretty much Big Mom as their ally, and I was just like I said I was laughing my ass off and I just responded by saying, "You fuckers are so screwed, you and you don't even know it yet." Like it's it's actually kind of sad in a way, but at the same time it's like, oh this is. Oh, what 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 the bombshell drops on them? That is gonna be fucking hilarious. I know it will. <laughs> uh, the, the other the other part of it, that of course that 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 ended up actually getting me a little angry, believe it or not. Like not angry in a bad way, just a uh, angry in a sort of really way. Which is that when Niji recommended asking Big Mom if they could take possession of Nami, 
I was like, Niji, fuck off. Nami is way too much woman for you to handle, pal. Actually, she's, she's way too much woman for any of you to handle. Like, Nami would drink you under the table and then steal every bit of coin that make up the Vin Smoke family fortune or, or whatever remains of it because I'm where your, your family is, is a little... Isn't isn't at the height of its power as it once was. So yeah, I wonder how much money they have left. But yeah, she would drink you assholes under the table and steal from you. So yeah, I, I wouldn't be dragging about that, pal. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's my review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. That's not of anime. Signing off. Later, guys.